right, let's talk Pittsburgh Steelers here for a little bit. Look, it's been a wild ride over these past few days. Of course, the acquisition of quarterback Russell Wilson. They're actually breaking reports as we are filming this about Deontay Johnson getting traded. But we're going to talk about probably the smartest move Pittsburgh has made this entire offseason. And it's a steal, I think, in the making. And that is the acquisition of former rival Patrick Queen linebacker adding it to the Pittsburgh defense. I think there's a lot of numbers to dive into here. So let's pull up the contract details, specifically from Spot Track, the website, good follow on Twitter or X as well. We'll pull them up, but I think there's one thing here to really highlight. It's a three-year deal, $41 million. That's pretty cheap, obviously. Annualized, that only sets it up to be the seventh most expensive linebacker contract in the NFL. That's an outstanding steal. But here's the real kicker. It's that bottom uh, line right there. One year, $13.84 million practical deal. Again, they got Patrick Queen, a star linebacker, one of the best in football, undeniably so, coming off an incredible season. And they essentially got him, for all intents and purposes, on a one-year deal, hitting their salary cap for less than $14 million. This is great work by Omar Khan. Obviously, it's a great player, but for this price and this contract, outstanding work. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this move. But first, Steelers fans, in the comment section below, what has been your favorite move so far during this offseason run? Is it the acquisition of Russell Wilson? Is it getting Deontay Johnson off? the roster and the trade and everything like that. Is it the signing in this contract of Patrick Queen? Maybe it's something else we missed. Whatever it may be, give us your favorite Pittsburgh Steelers move up to this point in the comment section below. But Myers, what are your thoughts on this move and specifically the value the Steelers are getting here? Well, I think it's a great move by Pittsburgh. I think it's a savvy move because they, of all people, know the talent of a guy like Patrick Queen. He really adds a lot of dynamicism to a defense. He can be a great middle linebacker. And I think early on in his career with the Ravens, he kind of struggled at first, but it was because the responsibilities of being the green dot, the guy that's calling the defense, you know, the quarterback of the defense was put on him very early on. And I don't think he was quite ready for that. And the good news is Pittsburgh has a lot of guys that have carried the green dot throughout the years. Minka Fitzpatrick's had it at time. Elena Roberts has had it at times. There's just a lot of different guys all over the Pittsburgh defense that really can just carry the load as far as being the green dot but I don't think they're going to need to and I think the Pittsburgh Steelers grab Patrick Queen at the perfect time because the last two years he's been absolutely phenomenal because he's gotten under the tutelage of Roquan Smith who took on those green dot responsibilities and really became a leader of that defense I think Patrick Queen learned a lot of uh, from Roquan Smith and he's always had you know the gameplay ability He's been a great coverage linebacker. He's been a great attacking linebacker as far as pass rush goes. Great run defender. It was just sometimes the communication was an issue, but I think he's learned a lot under Roquan Smith, and I think he is now ready to take on those roles. So I think Pittsburgh got Baltimore's second best uh, linebacker, but he's going to be one of the best in the NFL. It's like you said, they got him for a great deal, a steal of a deal, really. And I think he can become one of the stars in Pittsburgh if given the right tools. You know, I think it's one of these moves that it almost doesn't make sense because you've got a young player on the rise in his career in Queen from a division rival on a scary good contract, right? If you look up the fully guaranteed rankings at the linebacker position corner over the cap.com, this deal doesn't even make the top 20, top 25. There are players like Jameen Davis for Washington that have a lot more dollars fully guaranteed than Queen has in his deal signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I want to give a lot of credit to Omar Khan, right? There's a lot of people that had some questions and concerns and some reservations heading into this offseason, and rightly so. But again, Russell Wilson on essentially the league minimum, right, has freed up so much camp space. The Deontay Johnson trade, we may cover that at a later date these following days to figure out exactly how that shakes out. It looks like they're all in on offense on Pickens, which I think is a smart move by Khan as well. And then you get a quality linebacker playing peak football in his mid-20s from a division rival, the best team in the division, the number one seed in the AFC in 2023, and you get them for this number, I mean, this is ridiculous stuff. This is elite-level GM work from Omar Khan. And frankly, we've been waiting for this from the Steelers, right? We know he's done well. We know he's done a lot of good things. But we've been waiting for a move like this from Khan ever since he took over, right? He's done a lot of good. He's done a lot of solid. Made some mistakes, but generally he's done a decent job. We've been waiting for the really big, smart, big brain move. We were rumored was going on with Khan when he was first elevated to the position of general manager. Well, guess what? We don't have to wait anymore because this move, I think it's the steal, probably the free agency period up to this point. This is an outstanding move by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, Nick, and I think this is a big move as far as the culture of Pittsburgh goes as well. 
They've been yep. waiting to have a star in the middle of the field for a long time now. I don't think, you know, they've had a guy in the middle of the field that really could be a star playmaker in such a long time. Obviously, Highsmith and TJ Watt are doing great things. They've got a lot of good guys on the D-line, like Cam Hayward, most notably. But Keanu Benton's really stepped up as well. They've got some great corners, but they really needed a guy in that linebacker position to take a step up and kind of just be the guy. Obviously, way back, Ryan Shazier was good, but unfortunately, the injury kind of took him out before we could see how good he was going to be. But since that time, I think they've been cycling through guys left and right. You know, getting the Devin Bush guys, getting guys like Quan Alexander, getting guys, you know, Miles Jack, cycling guys through uh, to see who could be the next linebacker. And I think finally, Pittsburgh has picked up a guy in Patrick Queen that can be the guy in Pittsburgh in the middle of the field. And, you know, you bring up a great point there, and I want to end on this. It's crazy you bring up the last time they had an elite middle linebacker. 2016, obviously, Shazier got hurt during 2017. 2016 was the last time the Steelers won a playoff game and made a run to the AFC Championship game. I think there's something to there. I think Pittsburgh's one of these teams, one of these cultures that needs a strong middle linebacker, and they certainly got one here in Patrick. Finney.